It wasn't a change in the American people, but in the system that governed them. Some grew rich in America's economy, but the honest money they could win on the market wasn't enough. They wanted more, and they set about getting it by whatever method worked. They began to buy politicians, and the politicians, dutiful little pets that they were, repaid the investment with interest. America has become a land where the rich hoard vast amounts of wealth, while the rest of us find it increasingly hard to get by. The richer they get, the more they spend on politicians, and the more the system responds to their desires instead of our needs. Now, jobs are moved to foreign lands where workers are paid a pittance and investors can make a fortune. Our entire manufacturing sector is in decay. Nearly a quarter of the workforce is unemployed with no relief in sight. As the tax base erodes, our government cannot afford to inspect what enters our country. Goods, sometimes dangerous products made with little to no supervision, keep flooding in to an increasingly desperate populace who, lacking jobs and money, cannot resist the cheaper prices. It's a downward spiral. A never-ending cycle. Is there any way out? <laughs>